I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. I can't say hello, goodbye. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Made it. Hey creators, it's the lady laughs a lot here. Just having a little fun making videos. Can you tell? So I'm here today to share my creative bunny hat adventure with you. So mini hats, just a little obsessed. You can go on Pinterest and do a search for mini hat or mini top hat. Look at all these beautiful creators and their creations. Oh, they're just so inspiring. It all started when my friend Stella said she was going to a St. Patrick Day party and she wanted a hat. Yay! A reason to make a mini hat. So it was simple. I didn't get over complicated, but I loved making it and I had the itch. I knew I would be making my own hat in the near future with the bunny ears. I picked these up at Hobby Lobby a few years ago and they started to look a little tattered and worn and not quite bright white anymore. And I enjoy steampunk a little bit and gears. And so I was inspired by the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. I would suggest if you want to go on a creative adventure like this too. Hello, Mama Cat. <laughs> so Mama Cat and I would suggest that if you want to go on a creative adventure like this too, that you pick your theme and then surround yourself with whatever <laughs> supplies you have that go along with that theme. <laughs> Was it the Cheshire cat? Are you a Cheshire cat? <laughs> So Mama Cat and I would suggest that if you want to go on a creative adventure like this too, pick your theme and then surround yourself with all kinds of things that you can find in your supplies or your stash or that junk drawer that you have some things sitting in there and surround yourself. This way you can get those creative juices flowing. So for me, of course, it was pink and white colors and flowers. And I went through my flower stash. I went through my lace. I had off-white lace and white lace. And I love this butterfly garden stake. Boing, boing. I love that it goes boing, boing. <laughs> and then, of course, my little metal ephemera with clock pieces. <laughs> so now that you've surrounded yourself with cat hair <laughs> and all the things that inspire you, we have to make the hat. So whether you're using your own cup, any cup will do. It can be these plastic recyclable cups or a paper cup or if you don't have a cup obviously just paper but you're going to need a structure for all your stuff to stick to all right so whether you're going to use a cup or you're going to start from scratch with paper there are shapes that you're going to need for every hat so for my Cricut creators I have a Cricut stencil that shows the rectangular piece. That's what we're going to call the crown. And then you're going to need two circular pieces. The one with the starburst in the middle is so that you can attach the brim to the crown. And then you're going to need a smaller circle for the top. Now, the smaller circle that I have in this template, I have since altered and you'll see why later. But if you go on to Cricut, because I'm going to share this publicly, you should be able to find it if you just do a search for a mini hat. I'm not sure if that's how it works. You can leave comments for me in the comments below to let me know if that worked or not, if you could find it or not. 
So whether you're cutting out from scratch or using the Cricut, here comes some fun cutting. So I cut the paper out first and then I went and cut the felt afterwards. Okay, so my Cricut cut it out. I didn't cut it. You get the point. All right, so I find it very satisfying when the Cricut is done cutting. I just want to like take a moment here and enjoy the peeling off of the felt circles. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, so we're jumping right into it. The rectangular piece that you're going to use for the crown, I used double-sided tape and just stuck that together. So this is the structure of your hat, and then you take the felt and glue it on. Easy peasy. Hey, what did one hat say to the other hat? You stay here, I'll go on ahead. <laughs> So I think the hardest part is cutting out the hat, but once you have all the pieces, you know all you have to do is glue them together. I love this part here because it almost looks like this is an alien creature with lots of teeth and it's eating my fingers. Nom, 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 eating the fingers. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button while you're there. I'm sure I'll come up with more crazy zany videos in the future. Oh, okay, so here I struggled with this part because I didn't have tabs on the small circle to attach to the crown of the hat. And you can see there, I was trying to make little tabs, but of course they were within the circle, so they weren't very helpful. And I just decided to just slop some glue on the top and get the top to just settle right on. But that's the improvement I made to the Cricut template where I added those tabs to the smaller circles so you'll have an easier time. All right, and ta-da, we have a hat. It gets even more exciting now because we have a hat. All right, let's get him on the ears. It wasn't sure how I wanted to attach the hat, but it became pretty clear that I was gonna have to cut out notches to get it to sit the way I wanted it to on the ears. Then the next question became, how do I get the hat to stay stuck to the ear headband? That's where that bigger circle came in so that I could kind of sandwich the hat and the bottom piece to the headband. And this here is some sophisticated calculating of where I needed to cut the felt circle to make room for the headband. Now I didn't cut those tabs off. Something told me just to leave them on. I didn't know why, but I followed my gut feeling and just kind of left them there for now and didn't worry about it too much. So get out the glue, just had to jump in with both feet. You know, let's just do it. Once I had the hat attached to the headband, I made some measurements so that I could use this fabulous sparkly spirally paper to create a kind of, what would you call that? A nice little belt or band around the crown of the hat. So after making my brain hurt and figuring out those calculations, I created a band. And as you can see, it didn't quite meet at the end, but I wasn't too worried about it because I had some extra scrap, number one, that I could put behind it. And number two, I knew I was going to embellish it enough that you would never notice. And of course, now it's like the fun really begins because the hat's made, it's on the ears. Let's start decorating. So I'm just going to start popping on some stuff. 
let's jump to the end and let's go visit the me in the studio live and listen to that audio so we did all the big stuff first right the timepiece and the arms of the clock or the hands of the clock and then the big flowers and then I just filled in the different spaces so we have a couple of small flowers tucked in and then some of the purple ones I fit in some of the gears some more gears here another purple flower some gems I even tucked one in the back there and then also filled the side and then put the butterfly the butterfly is really just tucked into that paper that's going around which gives it some motion and movement which I kind of like So all that is dried on and looking awesome, but I want to work on the back now. I'm going to give you a of the pieces put on the back. Hold on to your hats. So creators and fans, I had a blast making the hat and making this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you were inspired by it. <laughs> It'd be good if you could see her head and not just her butt. <laughs> I loved making my little mini hat and I loved sharing the adventure with you in this video. I hope it inspired you. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to and I hope to see you next time. Remember to laugh at life. Laugh a lot. <laughs>